Let me show you guys my wallet as well. This is however much is left earnings from that hackathon. So they were paying in USDC. Hello and welcome to my channel once again, or if you're a new viewer, welcome. I'm a Python developer and a data engineer, so I always talk about data and blockchain topics. So enjoy some of my videos that I've already made and also stay tuned for other videos that I'll be making going forward. Today, I have a very interesting topic that I want to talk to you guys about, and this is how I made $132 with 83 lines of Python code. I'll break down how I found out about the hackathon, where I've made the money from, and also how I picked which topics I wanted to cover for the hackathon and what I built and also how I ended up getting the money and what I did with the money, right? I'll jump straight into it and I'll show you guys in detail. All right, so before I dive into the juicy part of this explanation, let's start by defining some of the keywords here, first of all, so that everybody has a level playing field of what I'm talking about. So let's start by me explaining to you what a hackathon is. And when on here, you can see on Wikipedia, they have an explanation here where hackathon to them, I guess from their explanation as, you know, different individuals, mostly usually is software developers, but you know, you also have graphic designers, interface designers, product managers, and all these other domain experts within all the fields really. And they collaborate intensively for a certain period of time, usually, you know, 24, 40 hours kind of thing, and intensively on software to create software products or projects in a way. So that's basically what a hackathon is. You have a time period where you just have to build stuff build something that's really interesting or sometimes the host of the hackathon comes up with topics that they really want you to build um, projects for it could be something with social environmental or DeFi, which is centralized finance or just anything really that you can think about so that's what a hackathon is at least to me from how I understand it. All right, cool. Now that you understand what a hackathon is, I actually participated in one of those. The place where I actually, like this event took place or the host of this uh, event was actually Gitcoin. So Gitcoin, um, as you can see here, this their website is gitcoin.co. So it's basically an um, organization that promotes and funds, uh, as you can see here, they help thousands of projects and teams grow their open source ecosystem. And this is in the Web3 blockchain space. So they host events like hackathons and they also teach everything in Web3. They connect you and they fund your projects as well. So you can come up here, you can see you know, what's possible, these products, what they do here. So basically what I did, I came to this website one day because I saw somebody mentioned it somewhere on Twitter. And I came here and I was browsing around and I saw Earn, right? There's this Earn, Learn, Connect, all that. So I went to Earn because I was like, hey, where can I get some money, right? Like everybody else does. So I came down here and I was browsing around and I found here earning hackathons and it showed some of the hackathons that were running at that time and the one that was running on here was the Codeless Conduct Hackathon. So this is a Gitcoin virtual hackathon and it happened between February 23rd to March 9th, 2022. And from here I was like, oh, this is interesting. So I, I joined the hackathon and as you can see here from, from that time, and this is a past event, uh, the sponsors for this, there's all this, you can recognize some of these sponsors here if you've been in the Web3 space. And reading a little bit further, I got really interested in the prizes they were offering and some of the stuff that they had in terms of what we could build. And the most interesting part for me was that this was a no-code hackathon, which means you don't need to have coding experience. You basically just need to be there. Be a little bit creative. You can be a writer. You can be whatever. You can build something here. That was the good part. And you can earn from it. So come here to their website, which is codelessconduct.org. Um, you can see here that they have another event coming up again in June. So if you want to play and earn and build stuff and learn as well, might as well join the next hackathon that's coming up from them. So you can see here they have go down here to their FAQs, which is the part of like how much does it cost to participate in, in the hackathon? So it's 100% free for all participants. And you're supported. There's like teaching sessions in between. They show you how maybe to solve some of the bounties. And I'll also explain what a bounty is in a second and they kind of guide you towards the point where you actually submit a proposal or your your project that you want to submit and also you know you can team up with other people if you're not feeling comfortable doing it yourself and you can team up to up to five people in the team and sign up and build something together and also if you're new to web3 or you're still learning about it can you participate yes you can participate so this is 
geared towards every level. Um, but it's it's very nice for people who are trying to break into Web3 or just understand what it is. Because it you don't need to be coding. You don't need to. You can you can just write about anything. Seriously, like there was some writing bounties that you could write about anything. And I'll give you guys uh, show you guys what I did. I once I registered, I went ahead and this was the schedule of what happened. So the first day was opening ceremonies and then workshops. And this is basically showing you how to use some of the tools they have. And then we had info sessions, submission deadline, judging, and then announcing winners and all that stuff. So what I did, as you can see here. Uh, this is my profile basically if you have github you can relate to how this looks like this so this is your profile it shows what you've done uh, participation how much you've earned uh, from taking bounties on here and everything and um, so if you come here to hackathons and, and you can see here for mine I participated in this hackathon which these were my two projects that I picked uh, the one project that I did was uh, analytics and the other one was um, explaining what governance tokens is so I wrote an article in Super I wrote an article about what governance tokens are and the other one I created a dashboard using an API in Python and created a, a stream of dashboard and I'll show you guys how it looks like before I even proceed let's go back to what I mentioned that I was going to explain which is the bounty what is a bounty so a bounty if you come here to Gitcoin. Bounties is where basically some of the Web3 companies post here and they need help with something. Anytime you can come in here and it shows you what bounties are open and you can sift it by beginner. It tells you how much you're going to be paid for, like the, the price for that bounty if you end up winning or, or actually doing something that's really good with that bounty, you're submitting a good submission. And you can see here there's so many of them. You could come in here and make some money by just hacking and building stuff. And this is the value. You can see some some of them here, like there's six grand, almost all this on 100 thousand US dollars and some of these are hard don't think that, you know it's not that easy but some of them are pretty easy you can knock out in a weekend and solve some stuff and learn in the process right so I think this is a really good way of flexing your brain and trying to be really creative and learn as well yeah so that's what a bounty is so these are different bounties and you can see the prizes here came in here and picked the ones that I thought were really interesting to me data analytics track and I think governance track and I build the two projects that I have on my profile here. They give you like the challenge description and submission requirements. So they give you the requirements that you need to satisfy to be able to submit for that bounty and be considered for a prize. And they also give you the judging criteria, which is how they would judge the submissions of everybody and then determine who wins. Uh, in this case, they used quadratic voting. There was 100 credits spread across the submissions that they liked the most. And then the least that you needed was 5% to be considered for the bounty prize, which was I think two grand. Yeah, so two grand split among however many people that they they considered to, to have won in that case. And they also, the good thing also, they also give you resources and some ideas of some what they would like some of the stuff to look like so for me here after looking at the quality of what they were kind of targeting i decided to pick the mbrv dashboard this year so build a dashboard to visualize the mbrv score and that's what i went and ran with it and ended up building that project right here this is my github so i built it i uploaded it to github and i linked it to them and they were able to see it's 102 lines but if you subtract the empty spaces here it comes up to 83 lines of python this is a very simple project it just has one function and it does everything else just pull the data from the api and create a dashboard this is the dashboard i built so i don't want to go into so much detail but basically what this dashboard does is it shows you the tops and the bottom on the price chart the other thing i did was i wrote an article this is the article i wrote so i wrote wtf is you know governance token i don't want to curse in this video so but you get what it is basically what is a governance token i wrote an explanation of what a governance token is so governance equals to power and how it's distributed i want to if you want to read I'll link it below so you can go ahead and read it. It's not a long read actually. I didn't win anything for that one. That's basically what it is. So let's go to the money, right? Let me show you guys where the money is. I made the $132.10 from this bounty right here on this track. So out of that, 132. So the other ones were distributed to these other participants. It took me only 10 hours to make this. And you can see here in my submissions. And after the results were released, I had $132, which I actually learned something while also building and making money from it. So it's a win-win, honestly. For me, that was really powerful. And from now on, I've decided that I will participate in hackathons, building and learning. And if you want to do the same thing also, you know, let me know. You can team up on some of this as well. And after that as well, I decided to grant them $25 from the from my winnings from that hackathon 
which is not much, but it's a good way to give back and also participate, bringing more people to Web3. And the good thing about I like about them is, as I said, is this is built for anybody. It's not only developers. It's a no-code hackathon, which anybody can join. You can write articles. You can just build dashboards. You can do whatever you want to do, which is really cool. That's the good thing I like about it. So you don't have to have any coding skills to participate in Web3 or be valuable to Web3 in a way. This is my experience, honestly, and let me show you guys my wallet as well. This is however much is left from that earnings from that hackathon. So they were paying in USDC, basically equivalent to the US dollar. So it's back to the US dollar. And you can see here, I sent them the $25 from here. And this is a transaction, part of the transaction. To have this left in my account, it's just sitting there. It's always a good reminder that, hey, you made this from doing something really fun that you enjoy. So maybe, you know, keep doing it. And I really urge all of you to consider jumping in for the next one that's coming up in June. So monitor them on this website as well. It's not updated, but I would say keep looking on gitcoin.to and looking at the hackathon page and keep your eyes peeled for codeless conduct and join the next one that's coming up so that you can participate learn and uh, earn some money while you're doing it right mm -hmm.